The founder or the team of founders are the most important individuals when it comes to the startup stage of the firm. However, when it comes to growth, there is research out putting forward that the founders have to go in order for the firm to grow. And we were asking ourselves to what extent it may be important that the founders continue being involved in research and development activities and our results provide a much more nuanced picture. Most firms are based on an inventive activity of one of the founders. So the founders are the most important or the chief innovators at the startup stage. Then when it comes to the growth stage, the founders or the management team also have to give direction, talk to employees and customers and so on. And at one point they face a very important decision, whether the founder should continue being involved in research and development activity or whether they should turn their attention to management activities. The founders may not be the best in terms of management capabilities, but what they have is a very specific capability in research and development that is idiosyncratic for this specific firm they founded. So we posit that founders should further exert their R&D capability because it's their superpower which cannot readily be bought or be hired. And this is also what our results confirm. Out of a sample of 1,467 firms, we found out that those firms where the founder continues being involved in inventive activity grew faster and survive longer. We investigated the influence of venture capital investors on the relationship between founder involvement in research and firm performance. We found that venture capitalists allow founders to concentrate on their core competency of research and development and thus leverage the positive impact that founder activity in research and development has on firm performance. One mechanism by which venture capitalists achieve this is by admitting new members to the top management team, which frees up the time for the founders to concentrate on research and development. So far, the life cycle perspective has not looked into continuous inventive activity as being important for the success of a firm. Our paper is unique as it provides a theoretical lens why research and development activities of the founders are idiosyncratic and irreplaceable. 